Hello, hello guys, I am Zachariah, the ghost. Showmates just released two episodes of the new TV show that I really, really loved because I watched the two episodes today. They released those episodes yesterday on the 28th of September, but because of time, I'm not going to review those two episodes. I'll only speak about one. It's about spirituality from the get-go. I really loved it simply because of they showed us, you know, caves and they're going back to Kemet. You know, the ancient history. Let me read here so that you guys can hear what the TV show about. 11,000 years ago, in ancient Africa, a young princess battled a world-ending prophecy to navigate her people through ancient curses, long-standing tribal vendettas, and the wrath of the gods. And even if when I check, you know, the amount of, you know, talent they have on this TV show, it's just mind-blowing. Because I bet every actor, if you will ask them how was the experience, they're going to tell you that it was a great experience simply because of their playing different characters. They are not playing characters that we normally see them playing all the time. They have big names like Bongile Manjai, Hamilton Zamini, Shubi Mboya, Mutusi Marano, Stumo Njali, Siv Ngesi, Tishiwe Zidubu, Warren Masamula, and Zolisa Kaluva. And they also have Selo Mage Kanubi. And he is playing an uncle to the young king who is played by Mutusi Marano. He is King Lesha who went mad, mentally disturbed simply because of now. He was so afraid of the prophecy and he decided to take his firstborn to the witches and the wizards so that they can give him protection. You know, he wanted their God to protect him against the prophecy which is going to happen. But let me break it down this way, because the beginning of the episode, we have seen that the lady who is called Maggie, or the magician, you know, died. And everyone was wearing, you know, black clothes and those are the colors like maybe a cult or something. You know, they were all crying. And they had to go and visit this kingdom where there is just snakes everywhere, there is snakes in the caves, and there is people who are there making sure that they take care of that place. And that's where we see Tando Tabete, you know, as a goddess. Because she is sitting on a throne and she is carrying, you know, both snakes to her hands. And those snakes are alive. And we have seen that her head, you know, is burning from this part of the head, you know, she is burning there is fire and you know that you know fire is one of you know the seven elements of nature and also fire represent you know the new beginning and it also you know uh cleans or crush you know the like the ending of whatever era now because of that the, because of now the old maggie passed away that means it's a symbol that they are going to have the new maggie or magician and now that's when everyone went there and the lady who was the daughter to the lady who just died who is the old maggie you know she thought she's the one who's supposed to get that position she was supposed to be selected by you know the gods or those snakes but unfortunately Shubi, who was the royal servant you know was just helping with her dress unfortunately when the queen or the goddess was saying anyone who feel worthy or anyone who wants to be part of you know this initiation can just step forward unfortunately she stepped forward and you know they end up choosing her to become the new maggie and now the lady from the royal house was not happy and she was like saying you cannot embarrass me this way simply because of now this lady she is not even on my level she is a royal servant and now that's when the voice came and they said Umshawa, we are 
here to us, you guys are all equal. Because remember, to this TV show, they are representing nine provinces of Kemet. So when they were going there, there were different tribes. And it happened that Shubi, she is from the tribe which stays in the caves, a tribe which is very, very spiritual. But they revealed that on episode two. So I just wanted to give you that. So that the reason why the gods chose her is because of spiritually she can connect with you know the gods. And you know the ceremony was there. And one thing that I also picked was that you know the the spiritual side of you know those people who use snakes to prophesy, they connect with the sun. So they always use lightnings, they always use you know, a technology to see far, you know, to see the stars and everything so that they can prophesy. So it was a mind-blowing concept simply because of there were so many symbols. You know, I know it's the first episode and it's late. I don't want to be loud and I don't want to, you know, make this video very long because of, you know, I know that my neighbors might be sleeping. So the symbols which they use there, they use also buffermet, but... They didn't use that man with, you know, a head of a goat. They used a woman instead of using a man. And, and it looks like that woman, she's pregnant. So it's just so deep in a way that when that lady who is from the royal family was so angry and she was like saying, you cannot do this to me. You know, I will revenge myself. And... Shubi didn't know, because here I think her name is Zazi. Let me double check here because they are still new. Her name is Zazi. Didn't know that Lecha will propose after she was crowned the new Maggie. Lecha proposed and he said, tonight I'm going with my father and his soldiers to go and fight. It will be my first fight. And I want to propose to you so that you can be my queen, so that I can get the strength to go and fight, knowing that, you know, there is a queen which is waiting for me. His name is King Lecha. Now, when they went to war, it's when we were shown that in the middle of the war, that's when Lecha decided to go and stab his own father who is a king. Lecha killed his father simply because of his father used to sleep with Zazi knowing exactly that he wanted to marry Zazi. And there was a time whereby he was telling his father that do not touch Zazi because she is my wife. And if you touch her, I'm going to kill you. So now he made sure that during that battle, he killed his own father then the king of the other side has to cut the father's head. Soldiers from his village or from his tribe, they were all shocked because they were winning a battle. But they were like, why did this guy decide to kill his own father? And he said, you know, there is no more blood that was supposed to be spilled. We have to have peace. I don't want war anymore. And they were forced to crown him a king. Because he was the only son. The TV show is written so well. He went back and he found out that his wife, Ruby or Zazi, she is pregnant. And he got the prophecy that they must remove the heart of Zazi and he must take the child and go and give the child to their God. God, I think it's Haka, must be Haka. So he must go and take that firstborn to the, 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 the God as a sacrifice so that the God can protect him in return. But before that, Zazi went to see the goddess, the lady who was, you know, playing with those snakes. That character is played by Tando Tabete. 
And that's when Talu Tabeta said, you know, your daughter will become, you know, the queen, she will rule the kingdom, but in return, you must give me your heart. And Zazi didn't agree, but at the end, you know what I'm saying, the snake decided to take the heart out of her body. And now when the king returned, that's when he ordered that they must take her and they must remove the heart. And he took the child, he decided to go so that he can do the sacrifice. And he ordered that the lady who was supposed to be the Maggie from the royal house can kill Zazi. So the lady got her revenge because he said she also want revenge. And now on the other side, we have seen that around 30 minutes mark, that's when we have seen a greatest scene that I loved when we have seen Warren Masemola, you know, posing as a monk. I believe that must be, you know, he was posing as a monk, if not a prophet, but that looks like Buddhism. I stand to be corrected because it's just the first episode. They're still going to, you know, you know, give us more. But the way they were doing that sound of meditation and where they were, it looks like he is a monk. And that is a little Marge, he came there because of he wanted to know what is the future, what will the young king, King Lecha, do. And that's when Warren Masamola was like telling him about the future. I really loved that episode because it was just mind blowing. It was nicely done. I can tell for free that each and every actor and actress will be happy, you know, to have an interview and speak about this TV show because it's just mind blowing. Everybody brought their A game. Stumo Njali, he was, you know, in the army. He was saving. Alongside, let me, uh, Zolisa. Zolisa is the commander, he's the general. He is the one who's giving them orders and everything, and he is solid. You know, I really loved how these guys, you know, did what they did on this, you know, TV show, guys. I will just speak about episode two simply because of now it's late, and I appreciate you guys showing me love and support. It's on Shonex, by the way, if you want to go and see it. The first episode, I think it's over an hour, but they did a great job because they're going back to history and the way they are playing with those symbols, the way they are using snakes and the way they are using fire and the way they are using caves and also the way they are using spirituality, you know, it's just, it's just amazing because they are like giving you Kemet, they're giving you that Egypt, you know, and yeah, that was just mind-blowing. And I appreciate you guys showing me love and support. Thank you.